Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and this is a um, little update on things that I've changed and uh, what you see here of course is SDR Uno. It is running my SDR Play RSPDX with uh, three antennas connected to it right now. So what I did as a change, so of course the two first antennas are the same. Uh, W6LVP loop is here at the top on antenna A. Then I've got the MLA30 on antenna B. As you see, there's not a lot of difference. And um, I actually have done one change in what is the antenna C. Antenna C is now the K180 WLA. So if I switch it on, notice that I do get shortwave. That station's still there. But you probably have noticed that there's this big chunk of FM breakthrough here. So I've changed the position of the antenna. And actually, I'll make a video showing you where I actually installed it. Um, because I wanted to try it out. And I, I like its VHF performance. So I thought it could be interesting to have it out, outside and, and working. And so I, instead of having it... Uh, in the front back, uh, the front balcony, where it just doesn't work uh, except on VHF. I put it in the back balcony. So, the back balcony difference is that it uh, attenuates a little bit the FM station breakthrough. So, even though you can see them still there, they're not strong enough to overload the circuit and make reception of shortwave impossible. It actually does give me shortwave, but of course only at the spots where the FM breakthrough is not there. So that is somewhat of an improvement. Um, and of course it gives me my VHF UHF capabilities and on that side it seems to work really well and I'm going to test the VHF UHF a little bit today. Post even some videos on the UHF VHF channel. So. Uh, that's going to come up. So I'll show you a video of where and how I installed it. Um, once again, if you are looking at an MLA30 or a k one wla uh, what I would say is if you live in a rural area where there's very weak signals, actually the k one wla could be an interesting choice, especially if you want to have VHF capabilities. But if you live in a big city or if you live in a place where you're near or have some strong FM signals, get an MLA30. Um, at least you'll know that it works fine and you won't have any problems on shortwave. But at least, you know, it's kind of mitigating a little bit the, uh, the problems that I have right now. So anyways, I'm going to continue playing around with this and comparing it. And there are probably going to be a few shortwave videos today uh, comparing all three antennas together. So I hope you enjoy the content. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.